Hi guys, Chris from Toei HD. Thanks for tuning in today. And today we're going to be talking about tow points on vehicles. It's a real popular topic at the moment. Um, and, and people have various points of view depending on what they're using the vehicle for or what they're setting the vehicle up for. So I'm going to go through a couple of things that I use, uh, being in my profession and why I use them and sometimes why I don't use them at all. So now as you can see now I've got my Ranger ready to go and I've got two tow points on that one. One is the factory tow point of course and the other one is a load rated tow point which is towards the centre, well basically the centre of the car. So as you can see while I'm winching up on the load rated tow point which is at the centre of the car, it's going up smooth, it's going up nice and straight, the winch, uh, the winch cable is falling on the barrel quite nicely and I'm not having any issues at all. But when I use the factory tow point and I start winching, you can start to see that the car's being pulled slightly offset to the tr from the tray, so it's uh, going slightly to the right if you're looking behind the car, and then you can hear the cable starting to go over itself on the barrel, and that's not a good thing. It can damage your cable, um, and you know it's it's really not good for your cable, your car, uh, and those tow points they are not designed to handle so many forces at one time. So let's have a look at this Hilux I've got here, right? And as you can see, it's got, Toyota have always been really good with their, with their tow points. And this one's got a couple of interesting ones. So it's got two that are forward and it's got two that are facing down right behind it. Now I've never had a problem with these uh, winching them onto a truck or doing anything like that. It's always been a, you know, a, a good thing. Obviously before I've pulled it onto the back of the truck, I've always checked the welds and so forth. But if this thing was in a bog, uh, and, and I had a lot of resistance trying to get it out of where it needed to be, well then obviously I'm going to use this one and I'm going to be going around something a little bit more solid. Uh, if it was around the rear, it'd be around the diff. Okay, so uh, unless there's a, a load rated tow point there that I was comfortable with that I could drag it out, resistance vehicle and all, then I would use it. The only real thing I would use these tow points for would be to pull it onto the back of the truck provided that it's a free rolling vehicle and it's going to pull up there quite nicely. Okay, so unlike the Ranger, and I'm, we're just going to have a look at this Focus here. Uh, this one, you can see the tow, where the tow point screws into is actually quite a ways off to the side of the vehicle and so it's going to go in there but unfortunately when I pull this vehicle on using this tow point it's not only pulling forwards but it's going to pull down and the closer it gets to the winch it's going to pull down more and across and it's not good for this because then that is going to start doing this and it's just not made for that not to mention that this particular tow point has got no load rating on it at all so <laughs> You heard me mention in another video when I was recovering a Jeep that I wouldn't hang a balloon off the tow point, you know, that it had. I wouldn't hang the string off a balloon off this thing. Um, that's the amount of confidence I have in it. So when we look at the rear of our vehicles, you can see I've, I've got my tow bar in there at the moment and I actually have two tow bars. Uh, I've got one that slopes down, I've got one that slopes up. So I've got a tow bar for each trailer that I need to take. But that's all I'll use that for. I won't use that to pull anybody out. I won't use that to latch onto a tree if I need to when I'm winching somebody out. You know, it's not what it's designed to do. So instead, uh, you, I've got a load rated uh, hitch receiver here. This, this particular one's a Chaos one. And, uh, and I will use this if I need to, if I need to pull somebody out of a bog or snatch them. Uh, not a big fan of snatch straps, as I've said before. I'd, I'd prefer to use a winch if they're too bogged. Uh, but for towing purposes and stuff like that, I'll always use one of these and not one of those and for various amount of reasons. Now, there are some cheap ones that you can get. I mean, this one's load rated too, but you can get cheap ones that'll look like this. They're all black, you know, and they might save you a little bit of money. But I'm gonna tell you, if something like this, the cheaper version ever lets go, anybody that's standing too close is gonna be in a world of hurt uh, and possibly yourself as well. So always get your gear from uh, somebody that knows what they're doing, specialises in four-wheel drives um, and has, when you look at the specifications, it's got specific load ratings there. So thanks for watching today. Um, I actually had a lot of fun doing this, uh, sharing 
uh, some things that I've learned over the years, why I will use certain tow points on vehicles and why I won't. Um, you know, it's, it's, I'm, I'm, I love what I do, I really, really do. And I'm kind of blessed in a job that just when I think I've seen everything, uh, there are people out there that remind me, no, I really haven't. So a uh, couple of key points before I sign off though, you know, there, there are reasons why when I do my job, that, uh, that I, I like people to be standing well back. You know, there are reasons why you shouldn't be so close when I might be pulling a car out of a mud hole or rolling a car back onto its wheels. Just like there's a reason that when you buy your equipment, when you're gonna self recover, if you ever get yourself stuck, you need to have load rated gear to do so, okay? There's reasons for everything, and trust me, my job is a testament to that. So uh, again, I wanna thank you very much, and I'm gonna leave you with this um, a little bit of food for thought, if you like, and, and that is, you, you know, you may want to think or rethink about what you're gonna do and where you're going to take your car, and what sort of challenges you're gonna be up for when you're halfway through. Because if you make a mistake, you know, sometimes you won't get a second chance to rectify your first attempt. So let's just be careful, let's keep it safe out there. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.